Pashinyan played a key role in ousting Sarxian, organizing many of the protests and calling for the premier to go in a televised exchange before being jailed and then released. He had been set to start talks with the ruling party on Wednesday, but they were cancelled late on Tuesday. Armenian President Armin Sarkisian, another ally of the ex-premier, was sworn in as president earlier this month after being elected by parliament. Ready to become prime minister in another move likely to prolong the political crisis that has rocked one of Russia's closest allies from the former Soviet Union, Pashinyan said on Tuesday he was ready to be the country's next premier and would keep up pressure on the ruling elite until it agreed to real change. The 42-year-old politician said the Velvet Revolution he had helped bring about was not over and that the next step would be the election of a new prime minister by parliament and the holding of an early parliamentary election. If elected, Pashinyan said he would try to maintain a balance in foreign policy, but ruled out challenging the presence of Russian military bases in Armenia or the country's membership in Russia-led military and economic alliances. We are not going to make any sharp geopolitical moves, he said. Many experts said it was too early to predict what lies ahead. What is needed is a sober power-sharing reconfiguration, said Richard Giragosian, a director of the Yerevan-based Regional Studies Center, yet such consensus and compromise seems very far away, and with mounting expectations and anger dangerously high, the real challenge of governance is only just beginning.